Hey everyone, Synthetic Blinker Fluid here once again. And as you see, we are across the highway from the railroad. And there's Piper. And that means we are here at Starlight Drive-In. I finally rebuilt it and I'm happy with the way it turned out. So we're going to come on in and take a little tour here today. Alright, as we come on to the guard station, you can kind of see that uh, the town has been put back together. I liked a lot of the way the, build the way the lot of the buildings were already, so I kind of just put them back the way they were. But I had some new buildings and whatnot. But we're going to start on over here at the guard station. Let's, uh, you know, let's take a walk upstairs. As we come out onto the uh, top of the guard station here, as you see, we have a nice commanding view of not only uh, the town here, but we also have a nice view of the Commonwealth, so we can see the people, raiders, super mutants. I get to actually attack by super mutants the most here, so a lot of super mutant attacks. But we're going to come on up here, and you can kind of have a nice commanding view of the uh, town here, kind of take a look around, and see what there is going on all right let's take a walk back downstairs and up there there's piper hanging out uh it's got a little uh like a break area here for the guards so just uh, when they take their break they can come on down have a new coca-cola or read some comic books right here we have our minutemen outpost this was actually my second one i built ever so uh, now we got walls back up again, and there's a reception area, or waiting area, jail cell, which somebody sleeps in that bed for some reason. Sergeant's desk, some uh, laser muskets, whoop, ammo, there's the reception area. Piper blocking the door, get out of the way Piper. That door just hit her on, never mind. Uh, we're going to take a walk across the street, and we're going to go over to Guns, Guns, Guns. Uh, probably everybody has that sign, and I just don't give a crap. So come on in here. This is kind of a higher-end gun shop. This uh, gunsmith makes a lot of uh, good weapons. Um, sells a lot of ammunition, mini nukes. As you see, there's a uh, mini gun on the stand there. So, um, yeah, higher-end stuff. Across the way... Or we have a diner. Uh, it was a little different before, so I kind of enclosed it and uh, I got that uh, light to mount to the sign that actually came out really good. Uh, come on in here, and it's just a tiny little diner. Uh, just people come on in and get food, go back to their place of living, and eat. All right. Uh, across the way we have the uh, armor shop this uh, armor maker actually has a lot of uh, good armor for sale a lot of expensive armor for sale so you know it does quality work but uh, it's a little pricey here it's got all the the stuff uh, to do what he needs to do to make some good armor. I uh, can either repair it or uh, make brand new stuff. Oh, Jesus, Piper. <sighs> Anyways, we're going to go across the way. It's, this is the uh, general store. And just take a look on inside here. Go on in. Yeah, just, you know, nothing special. That's not, you know, too crazily decorated in here so uh, this uh, this is a ghoul that runs the general store here so she's but she's not in of course she's actually in the back of the armor shop for some reason not sure why VIP clothing this is my chain store come on in uh, she's got a nice selection of different outfits uh, some real fancy stuff some uh, stuff for the uh, wasteland and uh, she's, that's about it. Nothing too special, just another clothing seller. All right, we're gonna take back, uh, take a walk back out here. I cannot talk tonight, please forgive me. This is a clinic. Um, realistically, if you've seen one of my clinics, you've seen them all. 
They're uh, pretty much the same. Uh, I think my next one I'm going to build, I'm going to probably make it a little bit different. So, just, you know, chem station and some random crap laying around and whatnot, some gurneys and all that fun stuff. All right, across the street, as you see, there is a barber pole. So, obviously, this is a car wash. No, um, this is just another barber shop. I got the mod that gives me the barber chair and whatnot. So, just a nice little place for a lot of people to come and uh, hang out and get their haircuts. Yeah, Piper's already on her way to the hotel. This is uh, Hotel Starlight. I'll take a walk up the steps here. And this is kind of our, uh, you know, downstairs area with uh, places to eat and just rest and hang out. As you see, there's a buffet. Sorry about that. Holy cow. I didn't mean that yawn to come on there. I do this late at night and my yawns always happen when I'm doing the damn videos. So anyways, so just, uh, yeah, the downstairs uh, reception area and uh, continental breakfast. I'll come upstairs and uh, as you see, we kind of can see out into the Commonwealth here. We'll check out a couple of the rooms. Come on in and uh, some nice lighting and... This one has a bunk bed. And we'll go on down over to this room, room four. This is just a single bedroom. Nothing too uh, crazy. And we're going to go take a walk back downstairs. Over to the left here, we have some uh, outhouses. It's both for the hotel and the bar. Um, I didn't use that room in the back there. There's just nothing in there. But anyways, we're gonna... Oh, God, somebody's st in the stairwell. It means, um, come on, come on. Uh, I get tired of... You know what, I'm gonna try and jump over this person. Let's see if I jump over this person. Come on, damn, come on. Uh, all right, well, that's not going to work because uh, basically up top I have, uh, uh, there's some uh, guard stations up there so they can, they've got sniper rifles and they can shoot off in the, you know, far distance. They're up there. You can, well, you can't really see them from here, can you? Well, but they're up there. There's three uh, guard posts and they're all, uh, you know, whatever. Anyways. This is the bar. This is called the screening room. We're actually going to take a look at that later. I'm going to do a nighttime walkthrough. So we'll take a look at that. Uh, here is an apartment building. This is something I tried to build, wanted to build. I don't know. So uh, basically, there's just, there's uh, eight units. They're all uh, just very small. Basically, this is like an economy uh, apartment building. <laughs> But the lower level here, everybody's got their own little uh, area. They can, you know, s have a bench to sit, or these couple people have gardens. So that's a uh, nice little apartment complex. Uh, come on over here, and this is the farmer's market. A lot of vegetables here for sale. There's, uh, well, I guess not really a lot. There's some stuff. Uh, take a uh, Nuka Cola billboard. Take a walk off to the left here, and this is called uh, the Good Junk, which is actually kind of a joke for myself because um, my family had friends back in the 80s that opened up a store of like just really random stuff that you could buy, brand new stuff, and they called it the Good Junk. And it was around for about a decade, and then they uh, closed down after a while. Anyways, um,. Across the street is the water department, and you're going to see why this is the water department. As you remember, that Starlight, there is a big watering hole in the middle of the damn parking lot. Well, oh, you know, I'm going to shut this radio off because, uh, you know, copyrighted music, don't need that. Anyways, okay, so basically, uh, here at the water department, let's go on in here right quick. And as you see, I have pressurized water tanks, and they're also the water pumps. So this is where the magic happens. And I'm gonna have a 
really piss poor at it. There we go. Um, anyways, so yeah, so this is where, you know, we pump the water from. And if we go around back here, these are all the water pipes that are going out to the rest of the town. So that's, uh, you know, just, I like these little pipe things. They're supposed to be, uh, the cryo pipes for Vault 111, but whatever. They look good. All right. Uh, we're going to come back on out here. Piper's already ahead of us. I'll walk across the way here. This is my little, uh, uh, statues of different robots because my robot shop is right here. So we got Liberty Prime, a Rust Devil Robot, and a Saltron. Um, they're all just statues. So, uh, actually above the water department is some more apartments. I'll tell you, what the hell? Yeah. Oh, it's somebody standing under the stairs stuck there. So let's, uh, you know, we'll take a look up front here. Go on inside. I don't really have these decorated. Once again, like I always say, my if I decorate too much, my stuff starts glitching out. So, uh, fairly good sized studio apartment. Um, you know, probably get a little kitchen in there and some uh, places to sit and whatnot. And then we'll take a quick look at this one. There's there's two large apartments and two small apartments. So this one uh, is you know bunk bed in here, but yeah, just a little tiny apartment. So, uh, I just didn't decorate them. I just, like I said, don't feel like having my stuff glitch out on me just to show you guys what I've built. All right, let's take a walk down. Of course, Piper's in the way. And we'll go across the way here to uh, my blacksmith shop. This is actually my shop. And uh, we do, well, here's a little shed with the workbench in it. So... <laughs> But I kind of butted this up against it. So just all my workbenches for me to fix stuff. And then um, if we come on in the large part here, is, of course, uh, a bunch of tools and the robot workbench. So that's nice. Uh, building is nice and tall and airy. Oh, and there's Piper. Busting in doors like she always does. All right, across the way we have uh, the chem dealer. So if we come on in here, got a nice uh, case full of different chems for sale. Let's go on in the back here. Hey, you know, chem station and all sorts of chems to you know try to make some stuff. We'll go into the greenhouse here, and uh, we have our choice plants for different cams. Oh, it's only downfall of automatically clo automatic closing doors. They always push me out of the way. But anyways, we have some choice plants in here, very useful for uh, the different cams that are made. I got a light that shines down on the plants all night, so kind of keep the you know UV light going. All right, let's go on back outside. Close that back up. There we go. All right. Piper was stuck in those the other day. It was kind of funny. Wish I had a video of it. But anyways, as you see on the greenhouse back here, I actually put chain link fence up against them to uh, keep uh, anybody from stealing the plants. You know, plants are probably worth a lot. Ah, and then here we are. This is the butcher shop. Um, as you see, fresh meat, tanned hides. Uh, the butcher makes a lot of money, so he was able to have a brick building built just for him. So he, uh, as you see, is doing his thing. Uh, we have some specials. Ground Brahmin, Brad Stag Rips, Fresh Caught Fish, Meyer Lurk Cakes. And uh, he keeps his place pretty clean. Pretty sanitary. Come on upstairs, and this is his apartment above, above the store. It's got a nice little kitchen area and a small living area. And then if we go around the corner, just a you know, bedroom, bed and a dresser. So didn't go too crazy decorating it, but hey, I wanted to put something up here. Hey, I'm getting hit by doors left and right. Anyways, 
let's go on back down and uh, take a look. And this is the Brahmin pen, so all the Brahmin hanging out. This is where they, they stay in his uh, own personal porta potty for the butcher. Let's take a walk back outside here. Come on, come on, there we go. All right, and of course, all the way around to the back. This is all the tanned hides, or the hides that are in the process of being tanned. So, you know, when he butchers whatever he butchers, he gets the uh, hides tanned and people buy them for leather armor and whatnot. Uh, right here, this is the power station. And, uh, you know, what do you expect you're gonna see in here? Oh, a fusion generator, because that's all I like to use. So, uh, just the town's power running out right here, and a chem station for me to screw around with if I need to. Then, next door, this is an old timer that does both armor and weapons, and uh, he's kind of does cheap work, so he doesn't really have a lot for sale, he doesn't do much, but we come on in here, uh, as you see, he's just got a few weapons for sale, and some armor and whatnot, and uh, if we go around and back here, we can take a look. You know, he's got his armor workbench and his weapons workbench and just some uh, lockers full of junk and some ammunition for sale. Nice little, uh, nice little shop here, butted up between the uh, power station and the uh, original projector house for Starlight. And then, uh, you know, a lot of people come by and hang out and smoke and play checkers and drink some Nuka-Cola. And then across the way is just a park. Um, eh, it's kind of goofy to put a park in a lot of these settlements. It's like, yeah, what's the point? But you know what? Um, the settlers love sitting on benches. So uh, when nighttime comes along, they'll uh, come and sit down. We've got some young saplings there. They actually have some foliage. Anyways, I hope you liked the tour. If you want to stick around for a few more minutes, I'll show you the nighttime with everything lit up. Uh, so let's uh, let's do that right now. All right, so we are out back of Starlight, and as we come walking up. As you see, it says Starlight Drive-In, entrance that way. And then we have all the different amenities that are here at Starlight Drive-In. So let's take a quick walk around the outside perimeter. As you see, it's junk fence all the way around. I was thinking about doing like concrete wall, but eh, junk fence works. As you see, uh, hotel, you can tell, you can see from the outside that there is a hotel. So if you are a weary traveler and you want to you know, stay somewhere dry and nice, and you got some money to spend, oh, there's a hotel, and then you can also see that there's a clinic from the outside too, so if you need some medical attention, you can come through that way. Uh, we also can see from the outside that this is a Minutemen, oh, oh, there you go, okay, well, a little freeze up there. Uh, it's a Minutemen outpost, so if you got some trouble going on, you can come on in. And what, what the hell? It's a Rottweiler? What is this dog? Why does this dog have goggles on? Whose dog is this? Is it... Who? I've never seen this dog before, but it's not attacking me. What? Where's this dog? Is this this guy's dog? Whose dog is this? I have no clue. Huh. Weird. Okay. Well, we'll just uh, go back on in here, huh? Anyways. So, as you see, welcome to the Starlight Drive-In. Enjoy your stay. Uh, I also put a light to light up the original starlight sign on the back of the uh, tower there. And then we have a board of all the amenities here in Starlight Drive-In. Uh, as you see, just uh, kind of show you guys around. Why are there Brahmin inside the... What? What is going on? Okay, I'm confused right now. But anyway, so... Uh Nice, lost lot of street lights, uh, kind of keep everything lit up, and, uh, th what the crap? There's a Brahmin inside the di- what is going on? Uh, I give up. Anyways, so everything's nice and lit up, as I'm trying to say. And, uh, d wait. I'm so confused right now. Anyways, so, uh, yeah. 
lots of neon, lots of lighting, and uh, everything's lit up very well. As I always like to say, um, one of the things I like to do with my settlements uh, is a lot of lighting, just so everybody feels safe. You can, you know, it's not dark and creepy. You're not going to worry about something jumping out and grabbing you. Anyway, so here's the screen screening room, and as we go up the uh, stairs here, a uh, nice when it sign and but there's a nice little seating area out here so if people don't want to be inside the bar they can hang out outside uh, take a walk on in it's uh, a couple booths to hang out in um, a lot of high tables a lot of bar s stools uh, nuka quantum mixer it's a nice little bar I, I like it it's it's not like it's not big it's like skinny and long so it kind of makes a nice bar. Um, anyway, well, get, get the hell out of the way, robot. All right, go on back outside. <laughs> Another seating area out on this side as well. But we'll take a walk out back here. I didn't show you this, uh, but I have like uh, floodlights shining down on the crops. Uh, just, you know, we are make, making sure, you know, nobody's like stealing fruit and stuff like that. And as you see, the farmer's market's lit up outside. So that's nice. Um, oh, I didn't... Uh, the apartment building here, as you see, everybody's got lights, and it's uh, nice and accommodating. All right, and we'll go back over here to the good junk, just nice and lit up. And then, uh, let's see, what else? Uh, water department, lit up green. Like I, well, do I usually put green lights in the water? I don't know. I usually put green lights, I think, on water department or power. As you see, my little uh, robot statue park uh, is lit up at night. Um, Chems dealer. My uh, blacksmith shop. And then the uh, butcher. Butcher is a pretty bright building at night, but uh, it's... Uh, the most impressive out here, I guess. Uh, power department, armor shop, and then uh, walk over here to the park, and it's got the gas lamps that keep it lit up at night. So that's nice. And that's it. That's really it. So, oh, another Brahmin running. What is this Brahmin do? What? What is going on? This game, I swear, sometimes goes like stupid. I, don't, I have no clue what's going on. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. I hope I wasn't a little too boring tonight. I'm a little tired. I just got back off the road from Washington. So uh, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys later.